In describing my work, I would say that one of the most important aspects of all of my pieces is their connection to nature. In this time where people are lamenting that we don't even know our neighbors, for me the lament is even larger than that. We don't have a relationship with the land, with our neighbors, the trees, the creatures, the birds. We don't know who lives next door to us in a wild sense. That is the core of my work. All of these things have some kind of connection for me, some interaction I've had with a creature in a dream or in reality. For me, it is not what a cute little owl, but that's my next door neighbor. To understand that relationship, it's not just an owl, it's that owl. There's something to the bead embroidery, taking pieces of glass, taking small pieces and turning them into something larger, but also the sewing of it the piercing of the fabric, the thread that interconnects, the backing up to strengthen the stitch, the tying off of the knots, that is all done in a meditative way. Often I'm thinking about people and saying prayers. I think of the creature I'm working on. So there's a whole lot that goes into the piece beyond the visual. My orientation to each day is to go outside and acquaint myself to what is going on. Today I notice the trees are starting to pull their energy inside, the leaves are starting to fall, the birds and squirrels are starting to harvest the pine cones. Nature is moving from summer into fall. I've always known in my heart and in my soul a connection with the old ways, resonating with my ancestral background that has always been deeply connected to nature. Yesterday morning when I was outside singing my prayers, the crow came and sat in the tree, the squirrel came and sat in the other tree. A jay came and sat in a tree nearby. They were all waiting while I was singing. That was the perfect start of the day to me, greeting all my neighbors. I began doing bead embroidery as a result of a dream. In this dream, I'm in this Irish shop and there's this grandmother sitting in an armchair in the middle of the shop and she calls me over and she indicates that she has a gift for me. She looks a little bit like a lizard and she has the staff people bring out these trays and on these trays is this intricately woven necklace but it's all in pieces and I say well this is beautiful but I don't know how to fix it and she tells me that this is a dying craft and she wants me to learn. And so I woke up from the dream and I thought, oh my goodness, I need to learn how to do this. So I got a book and I started doing bead embroidery. A couple months after I had this dream, I went to visit my parents and I was telling my mom that I was doing some bead embroidery now. And she tells me she has a drawer full of seed beads and would I like them? And I, and of course I wanted them, but I was surprised. I didn't know she did bead work. And so I said, well, why do you have this? And she said, well, your great grandmother used to make bead embroidery handbags. And I didn't even know that. So I feel like this has been handed down to me by my ancestors. In my work, I often use little bits of jewelry or buttons. My grandmother and my great-grandmother lived during the Depression and they would clip the buttons off of worn things and save them. And when my grandmother passed away, I inherited these jars of buttons. And I, I love to include them because it just makes me feel connected to my women ancestors and to the little treasures that are part of everyday life.